But today, starting it, it's going to be a piece of advice from none other than DDG. Hold on, let me do a quick little refresh. And I hate this. All right, he says you got to treat the internet like a girl you want attention from. All right. Social media is a girl that you want attention from, right? Okay. If you don't give her attention, she going to start looking at other people. You get what I'm saying? So if you treat social media like that, like I got to stay in their face, it's like, how could they forget you? And then when you when you drop that hit song or whatever, you're going to have the eyeballs to catch it rather than you, you know what I'm saying, not showing the girl attention. She's not even paying attention when you're doing your lit shit. But if you keep them in your face, even if you fuck up, as long as you stay in their face, you still got a chance to get that, that smash. You know what I'm saying? Right. You mm. There we go. Wise words. Wise words. Wise words. <laughs> wise words. That's what we going with. Wise words. Yeah, I, get, I, I get. I get where he's going with the analogy. Okay. okay. I think. I think the point behind it is a good point too. Well, I say I noticed when he said, "If you don't give her attention, she's gonna start paying attention to some, someone else." Mm-hmm. You kind of gave him a little mm, preach. <laughs> it's a little bit of experience. There, I mean, but... hey man, you know, bro, I, I live the life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He said, preach, brother, man. Okay. You know, <laughs> hit a little personal. Well, yeah, I want to hear you, your breakdown, how you feel about that analogy. Um, and then I'll give you my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, all right. All right. Stay with me here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I said, I get what he's saying because we've talked a lot about how, how fickle music consumers are. Mm-hmm. Right? They have a lot of choice. The choices are thrown at them very fast. And quite frankly, there are at least a hundred other things that are that could arguably be more important than whatever your thing is that they could be paying attention to. Right. So, yeah, you have to stay in their face, right? Like you're literally competing. And this is why I think a lot of artists start to kind of get it fucked up when it comes to social media stuff. Is like you're no longer competing with just other music artists, right? You're competing with viral videos, news headlines. You know what I'm saying? IG model photos, bro. Like it's it's a vicious, vicious marketplace out there, right? Yeah. So, Great. so the the artist, the person, the creator that can't consistently stay in people's face to keep some attention okay. when they finally have that big moment that comes around. You know what I'm saying? Like you saying like, there's not going to be anybody paying attention because you didn't baby step them to that to the to the point of the big moment. Mm-hmm. And I, I agree with that because I the biggest thing that he said that I, I like out of that whole point where he was like, even if you're failing along the way. Just the fact that you're in their face is still enough because you're keeping their attention, right? That makes me think about artists and their content, right? How many artists have we talked to? Like, I don't want to put this video out because I don't think it's perfect or it doesn't show me in a certain light or I don't think it's creative enough, right? right. right? Where he literally sounds like, yo, bro, like, if it's good or bad, as long as it holds their attention, it has the potential to snowball and pile up to whatever that big moment or piece of thing is that you do want people to pay attention to. And you have to guide them to that. And I agree with that. Like, I 100% agree with that. Okay, so one, I love how he did, how he ended it. He ended it like a rapper, <laughs> right? Or a, a writer, you know, but he's a rapper. Did you notice how he ended it? No. Well, I, Bringing well, the, the analogy full full circle. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, the, bro. That, that yeah, smash. You like that, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. You know, the, the smash <laughs> hit single, you know yeah. what I mean? The smash, you know what I mean? Smash, smash. I like how you pulled that together. <laughs> that was that was very clever of you, DDG. Um, <laughs> <sighs> the analogy itself. So, have you ever approached a girl that you wanted to you know, entertain or have entertain you and you didn't land on your feet at first. You yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, bro. It wasn't as smooth yeah, as you bro. usually are. You know what I'm saying, like, ain't, ain't no shame in my game, bro. I took some L's. You know what I'm saying? I got some battle wounds. Do you have any L's, right? That became a W. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I think in in that way, I've probably experienced that where you know, girl wasn't feeling me for whatever reason at first, but. Because of the proximity, I'm not even saying that I was like trying to be in their face intentionally, like music and all that stuff. But the proximity, you got to realize your initial perception of me was a lie. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, you, you, you projecting yeah. your old stuff yeah. on me, man. I'm not that other dude. I'm actually some kind of special. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not worth. I'm worth the shot. So that proximity that 
I've personally experienced in the past, right? Whether it's like because of school or like working a job, we still have to see each other all that time, right? It creates that space to even evolve your opinion, yeah, right? Yeah. Which I think really plays into his analogy because one, you have those people that you win right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Two, you have those people that you don't connect with, whether it's they hate you or it's just they don't connect, yeah, right? Yeah. But then you give them more time and space to fall deeper in love with you. Now, of course, you could say the other way. People mess with you and they have time to start hating you. But that's a little bit rare, I find, especially like on an online experience. Like you yeah. got to really like turn the tide or do something say some, say some shit or yeah, do some shit. Yeah, yeah. it has to be... Yeah. Has to really go somewhere. So I can get with that analogy. I, I wasn't quite sure. I liked it on a surface level. <laughs> and then I said, but I wasn't sure when I started to think about it, if I would like truly say, all right, I'll stand by it. Let me take a quick second to say, if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general, trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you. And it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, We're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Now, I also am aware that there's probably some young women out there that feel like, hey, it's not like that. Like that's y'all y'all talking wrong about how the relationship is and maybe how, you know, his wording might have been a little bit off. That I'm not here to say. All I'm saying is the elements of it. (laughs) you know, have added up in my personal experience at times. And I think that definitely applies online. Yeah, but the audience that it's going to hit with is, is going to hit. Yeah. With the, you know, the target demographic was reached, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Like, like when I saw the clip, that's how I felt. I was like, damn, this shit clicks, bro. Like it just <laughs> brought it all together. I had these words yeah. in my head, but I couldn't figure out how to express them. Right. Thank you, DDG. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, bro, but that's what I hope artists take out of it. Like, hey, man, like, the net we said all the time the name of the game is attention. Yep. It's easy to get attention, is it's hard to maintain it. Yeah. And and keep people interested. Because um, you, you can't win the game without being seen, without being known. Yeah, bro. Like, I don't even know it yeah. exists. The whole like, you know, tree falling in the forest mm-hmm. shit. You can make the most amazing shit ever, but if I don't know about it, or if I didn't care enough about you to even I guess care to be aware that this thing is coming, which is I think one of the points he was making, like, bro, you gotta kinda put enough out there that people just like slightly care long enough that by the time you do hit them with the big thing, it just hits for them, right? Like they, like you said, it's like micro wins, right? Like, like I come into it, I'm not, I don't 100 percent love you. Maybe I'm three percent, but in every you know video you drop or something, I see if you add like one percent to it, one yeah. percent to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the day you drop this thing, I'm at 80 percent, and I go check it out, and you got an extra however many people on here. And I mean, I think he's the right messenger for that message because. I've said a lot. I personally think he's one of the better content creators turned music artists. Um, and you can see a lot of the way that he maintains his audiences by doing a lot of the same shit he was doing when he was a YouTuber. He's still yeah. dropping vlogs. He's still posting, That's... you know what I'm saying, funny personality content on the different socials. And he's working the music artist angle into it. So I feel like it's a good messenger to to put that message out there. Yeah, I could I could get with that. And I'll say say this, right? Those steps again. I, I'm not gonna even say who, but I remember somebody I know being sleep on the floor <laughs> when I walked into the room, and I had just been in that room five minutes later. Tell them they need to get up, and they were on the bed. Yeah, and they were like, "All right, yeah, I get up." Then I walked back in the room. They on the floor sleeping. I was like, "Yo, I thought you were getting up." <laughs> And he was like, the first step is getting out of bed. <laughs> he was like mumbling. He was like sleep talking. So <laughs> all that to say is same with the fan base. There's those steps that exist that you have to take people through. Mm-hmm. You can either like hop straight off the roof and and expect people to know you and love you immediately. Or you can go the more sure route of just saying, hey, I need to be have people aware of me and I need to stay there mm-hmm. and eventually they'll they'll rock with me. 
it's very few times and moments where someone just like sees you and then they rock with you like on that next level. Yeah, this shit like, gotta be amazing. Gotta be amazing. Or life changing right? for whatever like, reason. The song has to hit crazy or the video has to hit crazy or in real life, right? You might meet that person and there's that spark like immediately like, oh, this is something different. Yeah. Right? Whether it's just a friend, a homie, um, a girl, whatever it is. But we know that's not most people that you meet. It usually yeah. has to develop a little bit more, even if you kind of like like their vibe. So I can see how it works in, in, in that way as well. I just say, hmm, I think the, I think, what's, how you term it? So that analogy of getting in people's face is, and staying in their face and to make them like you reminds me of the idea of indifference, right? It's like, at least being seen means they're on top you're they're top of mind. Mm-hmm. But if I'm indifferent to you, then I'm probably not even thinking about you. I'm mm-hmm. not bothered by you. I don't care. So you know, I've 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 been that guy where I've talked to a girl, oh I hate you know, oh, I hate you. I'm like, all right, at least you feeling something. We're gonna work on that other flipping that next time. But you feeling shine. something. It's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you know I'm, I'm nowhere near that life anymore. But you know, <laughs> I truly did add it up in my mind at that time. Like at least they feeling something, yeah. right? That indifference, bro. That's a hard. You don't know what to do with that. Yeah. How do I manipulate? Like just actually not caring. Kanye polariz- polarizing. I can use the people that hate me because they mm. making comments or they bringing it up. Yeah. I, and, and then they're creating something for the people who love me to attack and respond to. Yeah. People who aren't commenting. They're just not reading the stories. What do I do with that? Yeah, bro. You have no no control in that situation. No power in that situation. No power. Mm-hmm. No power. So uh I think we're gonna give that a we're gonna give that a W on that one. Give that one a W. W W um uh, metaphor. Yeah, yeah. On the on the metaphor. Let's let's see what we got next though. Advice number two. 